Press conference questions. The first one from K. Olaf. He's asking if you make Tom Ford into Miracle. Also, if you use Arsenal in the next match league, I'm sure you won't do worse than Arteta. <laughs> um, yeah. Tom Ford would be great, man. I would love to make Tom Ford. And uh, when it comes to your Arteta re regard, I mean, absolutely right. Um, you know, uh, it would be an interesting match league to do. Obviously, Arsenal is a great team, but, you know, always underachieve. And uh, it's a great team on paper. Um, and Pez also, you know, they, they always underachieve, and that would be a good team to use to have a lot of good young players, and we could definitely um, use that and build something for the future. She goes, eBay's asking, will you be playing eFootball? Also, if they're going to finish top four, it would be a miracle given some shock losses this season, but always difficult to your first season at the top flights. Um, I will be playing eFootball. E I forgot one. I think that drops at the end of the month. I will be playing that game. Um, but I won't be playing it the same manner I'm playing PES 21 right now. I'll probably play like once or twice a week. And, um, yeah, it'll be a miracle. Like, like KOF said, it'll be a miracle if we're going to finish the top four. Um, we did lose a lot of, b some big games. I remember we getting transferred to Atletico Madrid. Losing to Real Madrid. And even games that we lost, like, Atafe, it seems like that. So, if we can pull off top four, that would be incre incredible. And uh, Sabon is asking, do you think you're going? You should bring older players to bring experience for the young kids? Now, this is something I tried to do a little bit this season with Diego Costa, and obviously hasn't worked out for him. Um, I would definitely be looking into bringing in some older players, especially if we do end up playing European football. Um, there are players that I have in mind. Also, we want to make sure that it's a mixture of young players and old older players. Not necessarily old players, but more experienced players. Um, I don't know if you've played PES before. When it comes to match league, that kind of stuff do, does uh, actually affect team chemistry and etc. So um, we we'll have to wait and see who we see, in the, who is available, obviously. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for asking your questions. Really good questions this episode. Thank you guys for asking. And uh, see you guys in the, rise the next episode when it comes to uh, the Vanger PC questions. What is up guys, Bryza here, and welcome to the last episode of the Leganes Master League series, at least last episode for this season. Um, if you guys enjoyed this series, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and um, drop in the comments your finger PC questions. So, in this episode, we're facing five teams, we five matches in this episode, and this will be the episode where we find out whether or not we play European football or not. So, the first game is a big one against Barcelona, followed by Atletico Bilbao. Oops, what what I do? Then we go against Deportivo Alaves, El Che, and the last game of the season against Levante. So I think those three or two or three of those games we did lose in the reverse fixture. So I'm gonna have to get revenge on that. So, like I said before, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. So we also have something that we gotta discuss, and that is um, the objectives. So we have some objectives, and I think we hit some, but not all of them. And I did say that if I don't reach minimum three of those objectives, then I had to sell a player. So I have to get four objectives, and I really can't get one because I have not gotten knocked out of the, the Copa del Rey. So the first one is avoid relegation, which I think I comfortably did. Finish 15th or higher, we really did that. Seems pretty good to me. Golazo de España, that's one of your have one of your new strikers. I cost or Moreno score at least 15 goals a season, and Hakim Santos has 15 goal involvements. La Academia is um, Moreno, Marvin, Poussin, make 25 appearances, and uh, Copa del Rey, that one's probably, probably gone. So, let's check to see how um, our strikers are doing. I think Moreno is doing pretty well this season. He has a lot of goals. I think he did actually break the thing. So, when it comes to Pablo Moreno, he has 11 goals this season. Wow, I didn't know. That's actually very little. Costa only has five. We're really lacking in goals. Boa has seven. Um, Isaac has seven. Wow. And when it comes to Sanchez, nine goal involvements. Not bad. Better. But two goals a season, not good enough. Wow. And uh, have the academy players have at least 
25 appearances. So, uh, Poussin has 15, so he's not going to reach that, so that's already done. Moreno has 32, so he's okay. Marvin, Marvin's barely played this season. He has, oh, 28, okay. Maybe he's going to be coming off the bench a lot. And Sanchez has 31, so yeah, Poussin is the only one that really won't break that, which sucks. That means that I'm going to have to... Have Moreno score at least five goals this season, or four more goals this season, which is a possibility. I could definitely do that. He says at least three if I don't get. So, dang. Sanchez could get 15 goal involvements. He could. I think I'm going to have to sell one of these players. Well, we're going to have to wait and see, though. Let's see how we play out. First game against the season. So, it's obviously the easiest game of the season against Barcelona. Let's see how we do. Actually, it's going to be the lineup for today of 4 2 3 1. Uh, Silva, Vavro, Ducori, Sergi Palencia starting at the back four. Pusin starts in gold. City Bay and Moreto Casama in the midfield pivots. Sanchez at the 10. He's actually on the left, Colado on the right, and Moreno at the 9. Colado playing as his parent club. When it comes to Barca, they're playing a 4-2-4-3-3, I guess. And, um... You know, the players are pretty much the same. Like Odimo starts, Messi's actually starting this game. Uh, they're playing Fati on the left and Griezmann through the middle. Bubakari Samar and Frigga the Young midfield pivot. That's a very strong midfield. They look like a strong team. And we're at the camp new for this game also. Can we change our kits maybe where... Alright. First game of the season. First game of the episode against Barcelona. Come on. Oh, this is why it was kind of loud. But we're at the camp new. The home of Barcelona. The home of Dio Messi in this game. And he captains the side. I just, I still can't believe that he's gone, man. That's crazy. Messi at not at PSG is just wild. But the fact that this team looks a shadow of themselves in real life. Yesterday I saw them play against Bayern. They were absolutely trounced. If Bayern got out of first year, that game could have been eight, eight again. No Messi, no Griezmann, no Pjanic. So many players that they had that are just gone now. Like, what is this? Where is this team going? You know, it's it's crazy. Anywho, big game today against Leganes. Um, their favorites to win this match. They're competing for the title, and they would like to get a result here. Here's Messi on the corner, looking for the head of Firpo. The left back against the other left back. Onto Fati wins it, but Colado Deloni does well to steal it from the, his, uh, I guess, teammates. There he is, Colado is on the ball. Moreno. Sanchez, what ball? Sanchez. Oh, and it scores! 1 0 Leganes, and it's Hakeem Sanchez, the number 10, who puts it away. And what a start this is for the away side. Barcelona kept new quiet. Leganes take the lead. My goodness. And it's phenomenal skill there from the Moroccan. Took the touch, gotta pass Samari. Took the shot with the left foot and put, squeezed the pass like Odimos. And Leganes takes the lead. 1 0. Here comes Fati. The ball's easily stolen from him. Here comes Colada. Leganes moving the ball well again. Sanchez. He's the man that gave the ball away for uh, Leganes' defeat at against Barcelona at their home stadium. Here comes Griezmann on the ball. He's playing at the 9. Finds Agnolo who sees. Messi with a phenomenal ball to find Fatty. What a stop. False to Messi. 1-1. One, one. And Zaxxon is just looking there, man. You need to be alert. And they equalize instantly. Zaxxon on the ball. Zaxxon! What a save from Vlaco Dimos. On target as well. Good movement there for Vengers, man. Barcelona is struggling to play through the midfield. And the Leganes almost capitalizes to make it 2-1. Big save there from the Greek goalkeeper. And it's a corner. Kasama takes the corner, whips it in. Looking for the head of his action is well cleared. Kasama going against Zaniolo. Zaniolo just beats him, I guess. Griezmann. Zaniolo. Finds Griezmann. Messi. Griezmann. Oh my god, and Messi's wide open on his right-hand side. Griezmann's there as well. They cross the ball to Fati! That should have been 2-1, man. Vavro does well. Good movement there. Here comes Sanchez. 
see CD Bay. CD Bay sees Moreno. The touch is poor there. Oh my god, Vavro, he's been having a stinker today. I just said that the defense, defenders did well, but him specifically has not been doing well. It falls to Griezmann. What a save from Poussin. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. And here comes Fati. And Fati is throwing goal. What a finish. And it's 2 1 Barcelona. Ansu Fati with a phenomenal strike. And the young Spanish winger has double Barca's advantage. Finds Roberto, who still has the ball. Zaniolo sees Griezmann. Can Griezmann make it 3 1? He takes the turn! Pussy, come on! Are you serious, man? That should be an easy save! How do you get a touch on that and you still concede? It's Messi, well defended, kind of. Finds Zaniolo. Who sees Griezmann and Poussin is reacting way too late to that. I put a strangle like three years ago. Two minutes of out of time. The game is surely over. Can we go with some gusto though? Sanchez, he's the Ronald Moreno. He's had a really good game today, Sanchez. Okay, Moreno score. What a save. Costa. And it's full time. Four ones for Barcelona. They absolutely trashed us. We started off the game really well, but then lack of concentration has killed us. They ripped us apart. 4 1, deservedly so. They deserve. They should have scored more. We move. Other results Real Madrid win and Atletico Madrid, they win as well. We fall to 7th. That's still Europa League spots, but Champions League is looking out the window, man. A win there could have been massive. Would have had been two points behind. Only five points actually behind fourth. But you know. I guess Europa League will do. Next game against a fourth place Athletic Bilbao. We were fighting for that Champions League spot. We beat them before. We could definitely do it again. All right, so this is how we're going to play today. A 4 2 3 1. A lot of rotation from the last team that played, actually. I think I might even start Hernandez over, over Favreau. This is how we're going to play. So Fabianski, completely new backline uh, besides Silva. He's only starting because Santana is on poor. Uh, Hernandez and Mumuru starting to make the defensive pivots. Aguirre starts the right back. Yusuf plays playing the central midfield position. And Busquets comes in to replace Hidibe. Kasama at the 10. Bu on the left, Kalau on the right, and Moreno up front. A lot of rotated players here. Athletic Bilbao looking like a strong team. Peach Kualar, of course, former keeper for our team. Starting for them in goal. And uh, can't forget about the pace of Inaki Williams, who starts at the 9 for them. Big game against Bilbao when it comes to Champions League and Europa League qualification. Let's see if we get the result here. All right, big game against the uh, Bilbao. Looking at trying to bounce back from that 4-1 massacre that they conceded at Barcelona. Can they get a result here? They've beaten Bilbao before. It was a close game. They won in the end, but you know, it was a team that they they have beaten before. But they also did beat Real Madrid before. They couldn't do it again. Bilbao is definitely not as strong as Barca. As Aguiar takes the cross and look at what the heck he's I don't What is that? He's literally in the in front of the goal. He crosses him to the wrong player. Here comes uh, Yusuf. Finds Williams making the run in between. Maru. Boa does well. And there's Naki Williams. Takes a heavy touch. Going against Boa. Colado trying to defend against him. Guardado. The Mexican gives the ball away. Here comes Colado now. Moreno making the run, but Colado takes it on his own. Here comes Colado. Nobody's closing Colado down. And Collado on the solo effort to shoot, man, shoot! Williams, he's throwing goal. No, no! Oh my god, I thought the ball was in front of me. And it's a penalty for Athletic Bilbao. Oh, brother. Oh my god, the fact that he jumped over the first tackle, I was like, I had high hopes, but then he fell after the tackle was still on the ground. Guardado, he missed the penalty against America, he does it again! Big miss here for Athletic Bilbao! As a Mexican, 
Misses the penalty. Here comes America. It's America. Here comes Glennis in the counterattack. Here's Unai Lopez trying to defend against Colado. I'm on the attack. <sighs> this game is stupid. Half time. Big save for Fabianski. Bro, trying to do skill past the lad and do it in the dangerous area on the rule against Williams. And the shot's wide. And we've made a sub. Run off Yusuf. He's been poor today. Took him out. Bringing on um, Cruz. That's not the best there from Clinical Bow. They give away possession and so does Leganes. Kasama does well to retain the ball. I really like Kasama, man. Cruz does well to open his body up and complete the pass. Moreno. Get lucky that's a free kick. He's been poor today. Let's make another sub. Bring on Andre Silva. Here comes Kasama. Cruz. Corner. Silva. Busquets! 1 0! And what a header there! First for Oriol Busquets, a new defensive midfielder. Came in to compete with CD Bay and does bits. He gave away the penalty and now he scored the goal. What a day this has been for him. And it's 1 0 for Leganes. Heads the ball past Pichu Quillard and gives Leganes the lead here. Leganes 1. Bill Bound nil. Here comes Silva. He will do a former Madrid player coming into the pitch as well. And Costa. Vichu Colares. No! What is he doing there? First of all, he gives the ball away. Second of all, he almost concedes a belter. Long driven. Victor Moyejo coming onto the pitch. The athletic, former Atletico Madrid player. I don't know if he still plays for them. Here comes Busquets. Finds Kasama. Takes a deflection out the lad. Yikes. Yes, he can't keep it in. 1 0. Get the victory. Do the double against Bilbao. And it's huge when it comes to your point qualification. We move. And man of the match was Oreo Busquets. He did very well today. Got the goal. Played well. The results Real Madrid win. Barcelona draw against Batiste. Let's Madrid win. Uh, let's see how the table goes. We're still in seventh, but only what is it? Four points behind fourth? It's possible. And we beat the fourth place team. Champions League dream is still available. Next game against Alaves. I think we did lose to Alaves last time we played them. Let me check. Yeah, we lost two 0 to Alaves. So many players out on form, poor form today. I don't know why. We just did just win. This is going to be our lineup for today. A 4 2 3 1. Santella is on the rule. Tokore, Sergi Palencia, Pusin and Go. Tiribe and Kasama in the midfield. Sanchez at the 10. And Jackson on the left. Collado on the right. And Costa up front. He's already going. He's gone down two points. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's been having a poor season. Only five goals and 27 appearances. Not good by the striker standards. But uh, that's how we're going to play today when it comes to. Uh, Alaves are playing five at the back. Lucas Perez, the guy that scored a winner against us. No Moreno, he's on terrible, and that's only back of the strikers, so we're gonna play Costa through the middle. Let's see if we can get something out of this game. All right, big game against Alaves. We have to win, man. We're literally really close to playing European football, and there's a possibility that we could play Champions League football depending on how other results go. Big game. Alaves is a tough side. We did lose them last time. And we're at their stadium. We lost them at home, which is even worse. But uh, starting off a little offensively, maybe we could find uh, a gateway through that. So Kim Sanchez didn't play the last game. I played Cruz. No, I played the Kasama through the middle. Through the 10, actually. That didn't work too well. I moved him to central midfield and I put uh, Cruz there. The team started playing so much better. So, Busquets. I forgot about Busquets. He's on the bench. I should have started him. I should have actually started him instead of starting CD Bay. Because he had a good game. I was, I'm not thinking. It's not fair. Here comes Perez trying to pop it. Here comes Colado. Gets past one. Trying to get past the other one. And he gives the ball away. And there's Lucas Perez. He keeps the ball in play. Arsene Wenger sold Lucas Perez just randomly. I don't know. Uh, no, nah, it wasn't. Arsene, Arsene Wenger should have given him more playing time, actually. Here comes uh, Leganes, though. It's Sergi Palencia. 
cross. Isaacson, nobody's marking you. All you have to do is head the ball forward. That's 1-0. Ugh. Ritazagi, Ari, whatever. Perepons. Oh my god, see, Bay got turn there. Pina gives the ball away. And here comes Sanchez. He's really been improving recently. Has the ball. Sees Colado making the phenomenal run on the right hand side. Here's Colado. Here's Colado. Colado cuts it. What the heck, man? CD Bay, you cannot be losing the header. There's the. Here comes uh, Santelis. Colado. Costa! What a finish! 1 0 Leganes. And it's Diego Costa. And once again, good movement there from Leganes. Sanchez, Colado, Costa, goal. And Leganes take the lead against uh, Alavez. Deservedly, they've been playing much better than the home team. And it's 1 0. Here comes Ruben Duarte. Plays the ball in the air. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm, I was about to say. If he scored that falling down, I would remember the hats off, man. Hats off. Here comes uh, Lucas Perez. Oh! I meant to pass that up. What was I thinking, man? What was I thinking? That's very silly. You know, we can't pick the ball up either. That's an indirect pass. It's gonna be a free kick. Here comes Colado. On the corner through that's very stupid on my part. Kosama on the cross, looking for the head of Sanchez! What a save from Pacheco! It's halftime. 1-0 on this. Sorry, 1-1. It should have been, we should have been, we should have, we should, they don't have a shot on target and the game is 1-1. One -one. That makes me so mad. They haven't even been playing well. Like, at least offensively. Defensively, they've been sat out. He sees Costa making the run. Now, Costa's not the fastest player, but he could be strong at times. He has a ball going against Rodrigo Ila. That's a cool corner. How has he managed to keep it in? How has he done that? All right, three subs, bringing on Busquets, Cruz, and uh, Marvin. Let's see if that does anything. Santelis finds Cruz. Sanchez sees Marvin. It's full of energy. Oh, my God. Busquets. Cruz. Santelis. Looking for Marvin. Kasama! <sighs> I knew he wasn't going to score that out, even though I tried it. Another defender there from Bokori. The movement there from Liganes. Sanchez. Waterful pass. Oh, I wish my players were paying attention. Oh no, I have possessions! <sighs> Alright, Sanchez. Uh, Bulls coming on, so putting Sanchez at the nine. What is what is going on? I'm gonna pass somebody the person not even being selected. Like, what is this game even playing at? What a fine Cruz. Here comes a ball. What a ball from Cruz to find Sanchez. Who's strong goal here? Now Sanchez has no energy. He could cut it back to somebody. That's not fair. This is insane. I don't know how I draw this game with see one shot. Zero on target and the game is 1-1. One, one. Oh, man, this is midfield struggling. This is a shame, man. We dropped points at a crucial time. How did Babal do? They won. Fall to eighth. Oh my god. That's even worse. And breaking news 
Wolfsburg have made a 14.1 million offer to Yusuf, and it seems like Arsene Wenger is keen to accept the deal. Yusuf hasn't played a lot this season and has not grown an affection to like on this. A player with a lot of quality, but lack of playing time. Would love to go to Germany and play for a bigger club in Wolfsburg as uh, they look to sell him on to increase the wages. Let's see what happens next. All right, next game against uh, Elche. We have to win this game. Only a one point difference between four teams. I, and I think we still, hold on, hold on, let me look at the table. 64 points, so if you win the next two games, that has to be goal difference. So, but we'll have to lose the next two games, and then we have to score like 20-something goals. Now, nah, yeah, the champion, Champions League is out the window. We, we cannot make that. But Europa League, we can still do it. It's only one point difference between four teams. Let's see what we can do here. Let's change the lineup real quick. All right, so this is going to be the lineup for today. 4 2 3 1. Bua starts in this game. Makasama, City Bear, the midfield. Actually, I'll, I'll play I'll play Oro Busquets. Um, back four is changed. Palencia, Ducore, Hernandez, and Silva. Fabiaski starts in goal. Oro Busquets and Kasama, the midfield pivots. Sanchez at the 10. Bua on the left. Colado on the right. And Moreno at the 9. When it comes to Elche, they're playing the three at the back. Not a strong team. Kazaniga. Player I do recognize and Kadi, I think he just played for Watford. Um, yeah. Let's try to get a victory here, man. That's all we can do. Alright. I don't know if I can. Um, I can do this, man. We gotta pray that we. He had to play well. We beat Elche before. We beat um, Levante in the end, too. We beat them eight goals to one when it comes to the score between those two against us. We can definitely beat them in. at home. We can do it. A win. That's all we need. If we win today and even draw the next game, I'm confident that we'll make Champions League or Europa League. Sorry. Somebody has to lose, though. And uh, I don't know. Two games left. And the fates of Europa football, once again, in a very dramatic fashion. Here comes Kasama. Good save from the keeper. Good start. Teta Morente with a good clearance. Here comes uh, Kevin Bua. Colado! Are you, you cannot be serious, man! How have I not scored that? What the, what is that guy? What is that defending? What is that defending? He's sticking your leg out! The ball's in front of us! Just stick, a leg, stick your foot in front of the ball! You were sticking your leg out at the defender. Oh. Ah, this is just, you know, fundamentals you're not getting right. You know? You're upsetting me. Boo, uh, come on, man. Add some curl to that. That, that shot looks like a pass. Oh, I can't get the freaking shot away. And he's on side too. Let's go, Moreno. What a big goal that is for Leganes. Big goal. Another goal moment there for Sanchez. And another goal for Moreno. The Acosta coming on for uh, Colado. Morente. Come on, close the space out. There you go. Clear that. Come on. 1 0. Look at this wins. I'll say. Fought hard, but they could not get the results and they lose. And it's lucky. But why are they crying? Oh, because we can't make Champions League? <laughs> Man, shut up. <laughs> that doesn't really affect us. But it's that. It's a win when Sevilla lost. That's big. Okay, so we go to sixth. And yeah, we can't make Champions League anymore. Goal difference is zero. Conceded 54 goals, score 54. Real Madrid looking like they won the league. Wow, congrats to Real Madrid finishing in first place, Letico second, Barca third, Elche. I mean, just, they're out, they're relegated. Never mind. <laughs> That's why they were crying. Got relegated. Osasuna, a team that in the cup final, they got relegated also. You know, Tenerife. <laughs> that team is trash. Diego Costa's release clause has been activated by Leo. 
The French men, the French team would like to keep their cause as a striker to compete with Brock Yomas. They see him as a good good leader player, good leadership player with leadership skills and could teach the younger players how to be a successful one in the future. A big signing by Leo and a big exit by Leganes. Alright, so Costa's gone. I already sold Wolfsburg, the um, the central midfielder. So that's 31 million for us to spend this season. That's excluding anything that they give us. Santel's got offer from Sal Kobe, but we won't be selling him. Alright, so last game of the episode against Levante. We beat them 4-1 before. Let's go against them again. Moreno's so ugly, man. I need to get a new face for him. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll find one. Alright, so this is going to be the lineup we play. A 4-2-3-1. Vavro, Ducouri starting the, de the defense. Palencia right back. Silva left back. Busquets and Skasama at the midfield pivots. Hakim Sanchez at the 10. Zaxxon on the left. Collado on the right. And Moreno up front. I've decided to push up Zaxxon and Collado. I think the right midfield thing is just not working for them. So we're going to be playing with two wingers. Might be a little bit shaky when it comes to the fullbacks. But I could trust them to move forward. So... We'll do that Moreno at the 9, Sanchez at the 10. Let's see how we do against the Levante the last game of the season at home as well. Nah, nah, no, no. Look at this game trying to make me go see the long goal again. Big game. The, the results stay. Then, uh, depending on how the other results go, we should be going to the Europa League next year. But then, if everybody else wins and we don't, then uh, it'll be wild. Sanchez. No. And we beat this team four goals to one. I think their keeper was having a, a nightmare that game. And might have had one today. But yeah, we beat them four goals to one. I'm trying to remember who the keeper was. I think it was this guy that's playing Art Artur, whatever. Artur Fernandez. Fish and chips with the dip on the side. Here comes Rochina. Oh my god. And Gonzalo Ramos. He can score! Oh. Poussin starting again. This is the third game he's starting. He starts in goal. Kasama. Sanchez. Tokore. Moreno! Oh my god! Palencia. Kasama. That's a poor touch. Oh, well defended from the defend uh, the Levante player. Gonzalo Ramos on the ball again. Takes the shot! What a save! That was dipping to the goal. Oh, nobody's closing him down! 1-0! I'm very surprised nobody was closing Isaacson down. He comes and steals the ball, of course, undeserved. This team has been playing so badly today. And this is 8th of the season, Isaacson. And he told Pokes to pass the keeper. And uh, Levante, they're kicking themselves. They're playing, they're playing a much better football. But the experienced Morales coming onto the pitch. He knows he's a dangerous player coming on. Replacing uh, Gonzalo Ramos. Oh, I'm just so scared. I'm scared. Marty on the cross. Plays a short to find Clerk. Clerk. No. Goes to everybody in to go. Oh my god. I might not have to pray for a miracle. What is this defending though? Working so hard to get the go out of nothing. We did not deserve that all though. We did not deserve anything out of this game. We were playing so badly. I think this game even we played worse than we played at Barcelona. And now what foul bead. Looking for Roger Marti. He's already scored one goal today. What are you guys doing, man? God, are you serious? If you're not looking at the ball, you just realize the ball's coming down, you jump. What are you doing, man? Oh, we have to go all out. And we have to pray that those teams drop points. We have to pray. We have to pray. 
that they drop points. We have to pray that they drop points. I can't believe they blew this. If you if you don't make Champions League, half the team is leaving. Like Thanos finger snap. We didn't make Europa League. Vavro. Vavro. Vavro is really costing us the Champions League right now. Or Europa League right now. Let's see. You are so lucky. I don't actually I don't even know if we're making it in seventh. Oh my god, you're lucky that Salto Vigo lost. Because we just might have made Europa League. Since I was made team of the season. <laughs> I don't know how, but whatever. Real Madrid won the league. Not one Real Madrid player made the league. This, this game is stupid. They said, avoid going down. We finished in 7th. So we did that objective. Golato de España have one of the new striker score at least 15 goals a season. 15 goals a season. Costa scored 6. Moreno scored 12. Hor horrible. Nope. So we didn't get that objective. A key player. Sanchez made 15 goal involvements. Only got 11. Um, for 25 appearances, we did not reach that one. Actually, we did not reach, only reach one objective. So we're going to have to sell a player. Cost is already leaving. And uh, so is uh, Yusuf, but I don't really consider them main players. We're going to have to sell a player, though. Let's see who it will be. So as of right now, I don't know if I made Europa League or not, or Champions League. I'm sorry, Europa League. Let me see who won the cup. So, you know, this is even better, actually. Competition is still going on. The World Cup is this year uh, in Pez. I should have actually gotten a manager job for that thing. All right, so look at this. Players are going to the World Cup. Kamukurium is a thing. All right, so let's check. Let's check. Okay. So the Club World Cup was won by Liverpool. They beat Palmeiras by a goal to nil. The Champions League. Check. Let's see how the Champions League went. So these are the group stages. Um, PSG Liverpool go through. Liverpool, Dynamo Kiev go through, Real Madrid Spurs, Benfica and Celta and Bayern, Arsenal and Porto, Dortmund and Lazio, Barca and Olympiacos and Everton. Wow, Everton playing Champions League football and Atletico Madrid. Oh, yeah, they won the league, that's true. And uh, let's check the knockout fees. So, Atletico Madrid beat Man City, Barcelona trash, Dynamo Kiev, Spurs get destroyed by Bayern, Real Madrid win, Dortmund win, Arsenal win, Olympiacos lose Liverpool and PSG destroy Everton. Arsenal beat Barca in goal difference, Real Madrid beat PSG. No, sorry, lost to PSG. Dortmund wins, Bayern wins. Arsenal beat Dortmund, Bayern against uh, Arsenal, and Bayern win against Arsenal in the final. If Arsenal made the final, I'll be proud of them, but you know, that'll never happen. They have to be playing Champions League football first. When it comes to the Europa League, we're just going to do the knockoff phase for this one. Um, These teams win. Um, Okay. Uh, Juventus are in the Europa League. They beat them. Chelsea's there as well. They beat uh, Leo. Juve beat Bilbao. Chelsea win against Club Bruges. Fenerbahce loses to Sevilla. Todd Reigns win. Wait. Juve lose to Bilbao. Sorry. Chelsea lose to Bilbao. Sevilla win. Sevilla are playing Champions League football next year. Because they... Oh! So I think we should make Champions League, the Europa League then. Okay, that's good. So Villa won the Europa League, they're back to win the Europa League, just like they did last season. Uh, so, uh, let's check the other leagues. The Premier League was won by Man City. The top four is Man City, Man United, Liverpool, and Chelsea. Spurs, Aston Villa, Leicester, Arsenal. Jesus Christ, Arsenal eighth? Champions League finals, finals finishing eighth, wow. Uh, top score of the Premier League was Barrow Silva with 19 goals. Wow. The the Cafe Cup was won by Spurs. They beat Brentford in the final. And the championship, Sheffield United and Berlin going up. When it comes to France, PSG won the league. Yep. Only by two points though. It wasn't as dominant as they usually are. Uh, relegated teams are throw you and go. Wow. Top score is uh, Neymar, 27 goals. Wow. And uh, the cup was won by PSG. They beat Bordeaux in the final by a goal to nil. When it comes to Italia, Juve win, 18 on second. Atlanta fourth, enter third. Mm, okay. 
Be getting relegated or Pescara Spal and Urinese. Wow. Uh Hope Italia was won by Juve. They won the double. Oh and I'm assuming Ajax won it. Yep. They won it by country mile. Portugal. So Benfica won it by country mile also. Wow. Uh, Spain, that was our league, so we know what happened in that. South Korea was messy with 20 goals. Our top score was Moreno with 11. We need to get a new striker next season. Uh, Zaxxon with 8 goals. He played well this season. Copa del Rey was won by Real Madrid. They win. They beat Osasuna. I don't know if Osasuna played Europa League football or not. I honestly I have no clue. Uh, and the Bundesliga was won by Bayern, I'm going to say. Yep. Byron, they finished in first. Bruce Dormer finished in seventh. Godly. And uh, DFE Pokal was won by Byron to be Leipzig, so that's also. Um, okay, so that's how that finished. Um, I'm, just, I'm waiting for them to say that we, what we did, what we're playing next season. Uh, let's see what he says. Uh, it's been amazing watching us this season. We've achieved our goal. Uh, okay, Father Ball next season. Are we playing Europa League next year? I don't think we are. Shouldn't they say something about us playing Europa League next year or something like that? Four million, that's what they give us. Are we playing Europa League football next year? That's the question. I, I don't think we are. This is what happens when you play stupid. If we won that game, we could have been. Because <sighs> I don't know if Osasuna takes that spot because they're in the final. Well, Sevilla won the Europa League, so they'll automatically play Champions League next year. So that's five teams in there. So we should take that spot. Yeah, nah, we should be in the Europa League next year. All right, I'm going to end the episode here because I really don't know if, if we are playing Europa League football or not, but I'll let you guys know the next episode. Season 3, probably going to have this season and the next season, and then we're going to end the series then. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to drop your Ringer PC questions. Also, let me know who you want me to sign. Um, I'll put it to consideration now that we have some money. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Peace.